I hate to state the obvious, but we're looking at a mirror. We are, yes. That's engraved with the name Liberace. So tell me about this mirror. I was um, doing some work for a client, and I noticed in his bedroom this mirror. And prior to that, we had a conversation of how he had to downsize and uh, had to sell off a few things because he's moving to a condo. And we further discussed the mirror, and I said, well, I'm interested in this. What is this? And he kind of told me the backstory and how he obtained it. It was in the estate in Las Vegas that Liberace had. And when he sold that off, he took this along with a few other small belongings to uh, Cloisters, which was his home here in Palm Springs. And of course, all the other estates were kind of sold off, and this was the last estate. And from there, um, after he passed, this and other items were sold off and or given to family and friends. And it's a very small town here, and people know people and they know each other. And, you know, Liberace was very social. Uh, in town as well. I was kind of curious to see the authenticity, because anybody could have just etched this into a piece of glass. Um, it obviously looks very ornate and it's very Liberace, but I wanted just to check it out. So I looked to see if I could find any photos of his home or his homes online and did some research and there were some old MLS photos from the, uh, from the sale back when it was sold back in uh, Las Vegas. And I saw it there, uh, hanging on the wall, one of the photos. And then the people that I bought it from, they had mentioned that they bought it here from the Palm Springs estate sales. They paid, I think they said two to three hundred. I think they, I think it was two hundred, but this was back in like the early nineties. I bought it from them for a thousand dollars. Okay, so that's a good chain of provenance. I have to say, I mean, I think you're right. I'm not sure many people, if they were trying to fake you out, would even imagine or dream something like right. this up. So I'm going to say it reads authentic, sure. and it certainly looks like something Liberace would have had in his home. When he passed away, there were multiple estate sales also through uh, auction houses. They actually, one of them was so large, they had to rent out the gymnasium at USC. Oh, wow. Since that HBO special came out mm -hmm. about his life, I think there's been a lot of revived interest in how kitsch and sure. crazy it was. When his things come up, pieces of furniture from the home that are documented sell relatively well, $1,000 to $1,500, mm -hmm. right where you paid for this. Sure. But I think because this one is just so over the top, mm -hmm. I would estimate it at auction around three to 5000 Oh, great. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. But given the re renewed interest, I wouldn't be surprised if it did higher than that. Costumes okay. from that have sold for $6,000 from the HBO special. Oh, wow. And that's nothing directly connected to Liberace. Sure. So yeah. the more over the top and kind of in this vein a Liberace piece is, all the better.